Welcome back to Smoke Barbecue Source. I'm Ricer, and this is the Traeger Timberline XL. The newly designed body on this Timberline is very beefy and built well. Plus, this pit has some pretty cool newly added features. I've been running the Timberline XL for over a year now, and it hasn't let me down yet. Like all of our videos from Smoke Barbecue Source, there will be more information in the description below about the Traeger Timberline XL. Just watch the whole video first. You'll probably learn something. When it comes to pellet grills, everybody always talks about the controller. And the Timberline has the newly designed D2 Direct Drive Wi-Fi PID full color touchscreen controller. To make it simple, the display is really nice and really easy to read. We have a temperature range of 165 to 500 degrees and it can be adjusted in five degree increments. It has what they call the super smoke mode, but it can only run from 165 to 225 degrees. Plus, it also has a keep warm mode. That's just going to run at approximately 165 degrees. The controller and app are very user friendly. Not only is it simple to just set up some timers, it's a breeze to set up a probe alert when you've reached your cooking temp. You have two probe ports and they send you two probes that are color coordinated. With a Timberline, they also send you the meter wireless probes. I pretty much have to admit that I just forget that the pit has them, so I don't use them. As long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection, it is so easy to set up this app and it's really simple to use. For an older feller like myself that isn't really big into the Wi-Fi connections, it is really user friendly. I'm pretty blind, but I don't need my glasses to be able to read this app. You can even name it. And I named this pit Easy Bow. When I saw the boys assembling this pit and noticed the oven style racking system, I named it the Easy Bake Oven. Sorry, it just kind of ended up that way. And one really kind of important feature for all you beginners, on the app they also have recipes that you can follow along with. And they even have recipes of the week. If you don't know what you're gonna cook, open up your app. As far as pellet grills go, the Timberline, it's pretty heavy. It's 289 pounds. It's 71 inches long, it's 51 inches high, and it's 25 inches deep. Sorry. I can't find my tape measure. You have a whopping 1,320 square inches of cooking space. And there certainly has been a time or two where I've needed all that cooking space. We have 594 square inches on the bottom racks, giving us 363 square inches on each warming rack. And all of these grates, they're made out of stainless steel, so they're a lot easier to clean and a little bit more durable. Especially those bottom grates, they're pretty much indestructible. The cooking chain it is double walled. This pit doesn't leak because on the lid you have a really nice gasket. The smoke, it pretty much exit where it's supposed to, out the down drafting system. When it comes to a lot of the other box store pellet grills, they leak like a sieve. But this Traeger Timberline model, it's pretty dang tight. We have a very nice grill light that is actually mounted on the side of the hopper and automatically activates when you open up the lid. One feature Feature that I use way more than I thought I ever would is the induction plate. It's so convenient having a way to heat up either some beer or your sauce right next to the pit so you don't have to go in the house. All I have to do is remember to bring out a pot and I can get it done. It also has a very durable cover so it can double as a side shelf. After a couple conversations that I had with my Traeger rep, I did unfortunately find out that the pizza oven has been put on hold. But my guess seeing that you can plug in other accessories, Traeger's gonna come up with something to put on this pit. And I've always been waiting for somebody to add an air fryer. I know there's a gas grill that has one, pellet grill might as well do it too. It is pretty nice to be able to just go ahead and air fry some tater tots. When it comes to storage, the Traeger Timberline has plenty of it. Not only does it have a very large cabinet, you have two removable side shelves underneath the hopper. And they're removable just in case you feel like dumping out your pellets. Inside the cabinet you'll also see the easy clean grease and ash keg. I do wish it was somehow incorporated into the fire pot but no more grease pail hanging off the end of the pit that can be pretty easy sometimes to knock it off. Just remember that you check it after every couple cooks because out of sight 
out of mind. On the Timberline XL, they also send you the stay dry pellet bin. And that's great if you want to store any of your pellets that were in the hopper. As long as we're talking about pellets, let's talk about the hopper. You can hold 22 pounds and that's enough for an overnight cook. You also have a low pellet fuel sensor, which is great for all of us because sometimes we forget to open the lid and check how many pellets are in it. And on top of the hopper lid, you do have a removable cutting board. I've never used it, but it is kind of a nice feature in case you were ever in a jam. You know, you've been cooking all week and you just didn't want to do the dishes, but you better be cleaning up your cutting boards because it's not very sanitary. One new pretty innovative feature that they added to the Timberline is what's called the pop and lock system. And that's a rail system where you, if you buy an accessory, you can actually kind of put it wherever you want. And they've come out with quite a few accessories. You have a spice rack, tool hooks, and a paper towel slash butcher paper holder. The best part of the PAL system is that you can put these accessories wherever you want. A couple of the accessories that I really like a lot is number one, the removable front shelf. And number two, the cover. It's built out of some pretty quality material and it fits nice and snug. This pit is sat outside all year long and it looks pretty dang good. You have four locking and rotating casters and this pit moves around pretty good for the size that it is. When it comes to the cleanup on the Timberline, you do have a couple extra cooking components inside that chamber. It's pretty much the same as every single other pellet grill. You just scrape it into that grease keg and then vacuum it up. I've always really liked how Traeger packages their pits. Mine have always come in dent free and packaged very well. When it comes to the assembly, plan for about an hour but one thing for sure you are going to need two people this pit is pretty much put together and that's why it comes in such a big box the initial startup and the burn off on this pit was the easiest one i've ever done all i had to do was fill up the hopper with some pellets turn it on and then follow the directions on the controller then just sit back and relax let it complete the cycle it will even go into the shutdown for you and once it's all cooled off you can start cooking on it one thing that i noticed during this burn off this pit likes to smoke. And it might actually smoke a little bit more than a lot of the other box store pellet grills. When it comes to cooking on the Timberline, I have had some fabulous results. I have filled this pit up several times with pork butt when I've had to cook for large gatherings. I have even stuffed this pit plum full of chicken so my boys and their friends could have a little bit of barbecue after a basketball practice. But when it's full, everything has finished at the same time. The unwrapped ribs that I typically cook have come off this pit with an amazing color and a good smoky flavor. The family and I, we love grilled shrimp and the Timberline adds a perfect amount of wood smoky flavor to those shrimp. And if you like bacon, here's some up, throw it in this pit and it'll turn out amazing. My overall opinion on this pit is very positive, but it might not be for everyone. Right now, today, this pit is on sale for $3,500. So you Traeger diehards, now is the time to act because the normal price is $3,800. With the bigger cooking space, the induction plate, and the larger storage, this pit, it's got it all. If this is out of your price range, there is the new Ironwood. It just doesn't have as many features and as much cooking space. The Timberline XL is made for a large family or for the fellow that loves to entertain and invites the entire block. I am truly impressed how tight this chamber is and how it holds the smoke. I made fun of it at first, but my favorite feature really is the oven style racking system. It is so nice not having a fixed rack position because sometimes when you're cooking different types of food, it's nice to be able to raise it up so you can get underneath it with a bigger chunk of meat. Or just to be able to adjust it so you can hold a couple different sizes of hotel pans. If there's one thing that I could change on this pit, I want bigger locking casters. They're built okay, but they're very small. And it's really hard to get your foot underneath that cabinet and lock them in place. If you're looking for pricing or a more in-depth review on the Traeger Timberline XL, check the description and click on the links below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.